The CDC is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. And so opiate addiction is still 
on the rise. Absolutely. In the U.S., um, there's been some recent new attention from the presidential administration um, setting aside new funds and changing some limits for medications that can help. Um, and in fact, the Surgeon General has even asked people to look at opiate dependence as more of a chronic condition like diabetes or high blood pressure. So they've focused attention and resources on helping with addiction? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so how can people get in contact with Medplex Inc? Because I know there's going to be a lot of people watching today that this could really change their lives. Absolutely. If you or someone you care about needs help, please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. The CDC is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trustful. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. With the disaster, a little compassion can go a long way. One of our clients, a retired firefighter, a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others, lost his own home in a fire. He searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing his original firefighter's uniform. The look on his face, it's a moment I'll never forget. It's why we do what we do. We are Paul Davis! I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker.
Good evening, football fans, and welcome to Viking Stadium on the campus of Huffman High School, just down the road from the home of our heroes at Clay Chalkville High School, where the Cougars have rolled in undefeated, coming off a bye week after a huge victory over the Thompson Warriors. Huffman High School has had a bit of a rough season, if you will. They are currently 0-7 and have averaged no points this season. The average score to uh, their defeats has been 54. The last game they had lost to Pinson Valley with a score of 61 to nothing. Huffman looking to try anything they can against the Cougars, who are on track, it appears, for a big region clash with Oxford. Nonetheless, any game you play, you don't want to take the risk of looking ahead. And there's a lot of talent on this Huffman squad that is basically growing up as we speak. They are only starting five seniors. A lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, and a few juniors. So they do have a tough task ahead. So we expect to see quite a few uh, different players this evening. And we're going to name our captains. First for the Huffman Vikings, number 51, Jordan Robinson. Number 7, Michael Smith. Number 23, and that is Kanye Morgan, along with number 35, if I've got that right, and that is Daniel Harris. Your captains this evening for the Cougars is number 3, Marlon Compton, and number 13, Nicarius Allen. So we're waiting to see who's going to win the toss and which way it's going to go and who's going to receive and who's going to kick. We're excited this season for our Cougars, and it looks to be a fun contest this evening. Your captains for this evening's contest against the Huffman Vikings is number 13, Nakarius Allen, and number three, Marlon Compton. Go Cougar! So as we go through this evening, folks, we're also going to be uh, paying attention to what's going on in the area. Huge region matchup between Mountain Brook and Parker. Uh, that one having region implications. It's that time of the year where the rubber really meets the road. And the teams are getting lined up to run out. The Viking horn sounding in the stadium. So it won't be long before we're underway. And the Huffman Vikings take the field first. And you can clearly see, folks, that is a small squad in comparison to the Cougars, but they have fought hard all season. We want to make sure we give those boys credit for hanging in there. And here comes the Cougars. Cougars in the Navy bottoms with the white tops. Huffman on senior night in the blackout uniforms with the orange numbers. Huffman actually has some eighth graders playing tonight. And we'll be underway in just a moment. Sitting here looking at that lovely new... LED board that they have here at Huffman uh, High School as well as the rest of the Birmingham City Schools. This is a project that they had going on, upgrading their turf and getting their fields dressed up. But as you know, our Cougars don't care. They'll play on a bed of rocks if you wish. All of that stuff is just fluff to them. Given the nature of this contest, we're anticipating seeing a lot of rotation on the roster this evening. And if I got it right, the Cougars will be receiving.
having a discussion over on the sideline. And we'll see who's going to be back to receive. It looks like the usual suspects, number 16, Kamara Robinson. Obviously, number four, Mario Craver, back deep. Along with number three, Marlon Compton. So the speedsters are out there. Vikings lining it up on the near hash mark. So it looks like this one, they're going to try to avoid Craver, I'm sure. We'll see whose attention they're trying to get. And they're going to squib it. Starting off with an onside kick. Cougars jump on it immediately. That appeared to be number seven, Carlos Ivy, that got on top of it. So they'll start from the Viking 48-yard line. And just that there alone tells you the level of respect for the Cougar special teams. There's a lot of speed back there. Umbakwe in shotgun. Cave goes in motion. The give is to Osley. And Osley is going to take it straight to the house on the first play of the game. Touchdown, Cougars. And in 12 seconds, just like that, the Cougars are on the board. Coming out to try the PAT. Number 39. Anton Ellison. Snap is a little bit high, but Ellison gets it through the uprights. And the Cougars lead seven to nothing. So we'll see how everything goes here to start the contest. McAdory facing Hueytown. Obviously the big one in the area, Mountain Brook. Inviting Parker. And if I'm a little quiet tonight. Well, I'm just trying to figure out what to say. Center point is taking on Pinson Valley. Ellison with a high kick, and it is bobbled inside the five. Huffman manages to scoop it up. He's going to be brought down by number 13, and that is Nicarius Allen. Huffman will start their first drive with the contest from the five-yard line. Moody defeated Springville in some what I call early week action. Cougars with the starting unit for defense, ready to go. Led by number six, D.J. Barber, the Auburn commit. And there's no gain on the play, loss of two yards. It'll be second and 12 for the Vikings. Number of Cougar defenders in there on that stop. 
led by Mr. Allen, one of your captains this evening. Also down in the scrum, number 96. That is Randell, a.k.a. Junior Cole. So Huffman goes three wide on the short side of the field, single man high, shotgun formation. Here's the quick release, and that pass is going to fall incomplete. Pass intended for number 25, and that is Jamari Floyd. And that will bring up third down for the Vikings. Looks to be a, just a bit of confusion by Huffman. They're going three wide to the high side of the field. Single man near, single man in the backfield. Shotgun formation. There's the snap. Here comes the Cougars. And they release it quickly to avoid the safety. Loss of yardage on the play. Will bring up fourth down. And the ball is actually spotted at the two. And this is a tough spot to be in if you're trying to punt. We'll see what the Cougar defense brings on this one. And here they come, and that is blocked. The Cougars are still running. And that is Roderick Ivey who pulls it out of the air. And the defense gets its first score of the season, if I recall correctly. So Ellison will come out for the PAT. <laughs> we have a whistle on the field. We'll await to see the official call. Huffman has a man coming off the field. And, yep. Illegal procedure on the Vikings. And as far as Ellison can kick it, the last thing you want to do is give him help. And punches that one in. And with barely five minutes into the contest, correction, I'm thinking my clock is way off. Just over two minutes into the contest, the Cougars lead 14 to nothing. And we're going to go take a quick commercial break and be right back. You're an expert on what moves you. We use our knowledge and experience to help you move well, live well, and do amazing things. All right, folks, we're back. Ellison set to kick it off from the 40. Huffman three deep to return. And that one is drilled right into the end zone. So that'll be a touchback. Ellison getting all of that. So Huffman will start this drive from the 20 yard line. So far, we have no updates from any of the other contests right now. 
Vestavia Hills does lead Hewitt Trustville seven to nothing. And Thompson is over Oak Mountain seven to nothing. There's a quick release. That pass is going to fall incomplete. Number 16, Elijah Allen coming in to chat with the coach. And if I remember right, if I'm reading this right, Elijah Allen is an eighth grader. So, like I said earlier, very, very young Huffman team. And the Cougar defense swallows them up. Let's see who's at the bottom of the pile. That's Randell Cole. Number 45, Patrick Smith getting a piece of the action as well. With the loss of yardage on the play, it is third and 17. For Huffman. Ball comes loose out of the ball carrier's hand. Looks like he got back on top of it. The exchange appeared to be a little bit rough. Looks like he was anticipating the defense on that one. And that is number 32, Zion Moffitt. That is a ninth grader. Bit of a high snap. The Cougars get their hands on that one as well. And that one is just going to be downed at the 18-yard line by number 27, Jaquavion Fan. <coughs> and it's actually spotted at the 19. Another short field for the Cougars. And I promise you, that's not something you ever want to give Clay Chalkville as a short field to play on. Mbakwe in shotgun formation. Has an open man, and he hits him. And that is Kamara Robinson. So another touchdown for the Cougars. And without even being, well, barely four minutes into the contest, or just a hair over four minutes into the contest, the Cougars lead 20 to nothing. And Springville has gone up over Lincoln, eight to nothing. And there's the PAT by Ellison. I think he sent it to the concession stand in a parking lot. As I noted earlier, Vestavia leads you at Trustful 7 to nothing. And what is a critical matchup for Hewitt Trustful after taking a loss to Thompson. nearly half our building's roof. Paul Davis immediately secured and stabilized our property to prevent further damage. 
With commercial properties, speed really matters. We use 360 scanning to make a rendering of the damaged space. In no time, our specialists were at work. The technology they used made it easy for our staff, the insurance company, and the contractors to coordinate progress and speed up repairs. This church is vital to the community. We focused on getting the doors back open. I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker. All right, folks, we had to jump to a quick commercial break while Ellison tied his shoe. And that's about the only thing that slowed Clay Chalkville down this evening. That kick is going to be fielded near the 10. On the return for the Vikings. And that is a number 12. I do not have that young man's name on the roster. So the coaches are talking to the kids down on the field. And there's the whistle body official, so the clock starts. Hoover in Tuscaloosa County, scoreless at the moment. Cougar defense comes flying in. If I saw that right, I could have swore Roger Ivey had a cape on trying to do a Superman maneuver. Nonetheless, there's a loss of yardage on the play. About five yards, so it'll be second and second and fifteen for the Vikings. We are still in the first quarter. Cougars leading twenty one to nothing. That pass could have been picked off by D.J. Barber. And I've watched that young man walk around a lot of places, and I can tell by his body language. He was like, man, that should have been mine. You kind of see him back there. He knows it. So with that, that will bring up third down for the Vikings. Just under seven minutes remaining in the first quarter of play. And that one nearly picked off. And the defense is sitting there banging themselves on the helmet. And that is Patrick Smith with a little bit of regret for the moment. So the Vikings will punt. That ball took a cougar bounce. So the Cougars will start this drive at the 12. Single man in the backfield, that's Osley, too high. Man in motion. And there goes Jay Bubba. And Jay Bubba is going to score. And there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Cougar's not in a hurry to go anywhere. And it's an illegal block in the back by Clay Chalkville.
So with that penalty. It'll be second in about 13 yards for the Cougars. Bubba puts it in the air, and it's another touchdown for Clay Chalkville. That one going to Mario Craver. And not quite halfway through the first quarter. Cougars look to go up 28 to nothing. Now, Penson Valley won last week 61 to nothing, and I'm not taking anything away from Penson Valley. But with six minutes in the first quarter, the Cougars are about halfway there. And we've got somebody going down Old Springville Road testing out their Hellcat. So good for them. And there goes the Popos. Now, looking at the graphics, and I'm sure the cameras caught that. I don't know if they caught the scoreboard. They started flashing halftime on the graphics. I'm sure that was an error. But I'd imagine you'd hope it was halftime by now with the way this thing's going. It is uh, one of those games where it just kind of is what it is. We'll see where Ellison puts this one. Parker and Mountain Brook still scoreless. And this one's going to be fielded around the eight. Cougars trying to strip the ball, but got to give that young man credit to keep his legs moving to get to the 18-yard line. Nice effort by Huffman's return, man. That looked like Shakuri Washington who had that return. Pardon me, Shakuri Watkins Jr. Misread that. So single man high, too low, and that may have been a false start, but the ball comes loose, and Cougars have it, and number 45, and you know who that is, folks. That is Patrick Smith. He makes up for the first opportunity he had by not missing it this time. And the defense playing offense. So far in this contest. And if this keeps up, we're going to have to get Ellison a new leg. Kicking those PATs. Officials explaining something to Huffman, it appears. And another one goes through. But I tell you what I did notice on it. That thing had a bit of a drift to the left. So there's that. And we're going to go to commercial.
All right, folks, we're back as the Cougars get set to kick off. Leading 35 to nothing halfway through the first quarter. That one's fielded by number 12 of the Vikings. Wish I had that young man's name. He's running hard and trying to make something happen. Muscle Shoals leads Decatur 7 to nothing in Region 8 action up in the north part of Alabama. Let's see what else is going on in 6A action around the state. And Fort Payne leads Hazel Green 7 to nothing. Wow. Now that was a stick. Give credit to the ball carrier. I don't know too many people that want to get sandwiched between Roderick Ivey and DJ Barber, but he bounces right back up. No gain on the play. Ball remains just beyond the 15-yard line, and that will bring up second down. Let's see what old Hartzell's up to. One of the better teams in the northern uh, area of the state. We have a flag on the field. And it's offsides against the Cougars. And Athens and Hartzell are scoreless thus far. And Sarah Land is all over Baldwin County, 21 to nothing in the first quarter. And I got to admit, folks, Sarah Land up 21 to nothing over Baldwin County. And that pass falls incomplete. And the Cougars leading Huffman 35 to nothing. You got to wonder what is the postseason going to look like? With Is it possible that Sarah Land and Clay Chalkville meet? for the sequel. Definitely something to keep your eye on, folks. Theodore defeats Blunt 35 to nothing yesterday. And that play is blown dead. And we have a timeout. I thought there was a timeout. Yep, it's a timeout by the Vikings, and we'll be right back. You use your hands to do a lot. We use our hands to help you move well, live well, and do amazing things. All right, folks, we're back. Coming out of the timeout. Trying to figure out a way to check out some of these scores around the states. Another opportunity for the Cougars to jump on the ball. So that'll bring up fourth down.
So far, St. Paul's leads Robertsdale 13 to nothing. Thompson over Oak Mountain 21 to nothing. Daphne leading Fairhope 7 to 3. Cougars wanting to get the block. You can tell they're itching. And there's the whistle. We'll see what the call is. It's a false start against the Vikings. Buckhorn leads Lee Huntsville 10 to 8. And another short punt is going to be downed by the Vikings. All right, about the 27 yard line. Not seeing anything from Mountain Brook yet, which is not surprising that it would be a defensive slugfest if that is indeed what is going on. And Mountain Brook has the lead seven to nothing over Parker. So Mountain Brook draws blood first over the thundering herd of Parker High School. Here's a quick pass to Corey Barber. Corey Barber jumps, keeps his feet, and leaps his way inside the 10-yard line. Moves the sticks, and that's a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams Realty first down for the Cougars. So it'll be first and goal to go. And they're going to spot that at the nine-yard line. You know, I would say that that probably has been the slowest play the Cougars have had all night. Here's a quick release, and Jay Bubba overthrows Corey Barber. Had him wide open. So it'll be second and goal to go for the Cougars. And I would imagine the offensive coordinator is going to dig deep into the playbook to try some things out. See what sticks, see what doesn't, see what they remember, see what they don't remember. There goes number five, Taurus Chambers. And that is a touchdown for the Cougars. Springville leads Lincoln 16 to nothing. Check on our folks over in Leeds. Up here, they're off this week, if I remember right. Well, that kick is good. And we're going to go to commercial and be right back. All right, we're back, and I'm, I'm trying to stay mellow, folks. I, y'all saw the play. <laughs> and no need for me to say a whole lot. I almost feel like I'd be piling on. Nonetheless, it's 42 to nothing. But if I did some quick math in nine minutes, That's a lot of scoring every three minutes.
Number 12 on the return, bobbled the kick and manages to get control of it before the Cougars got down there and got all over them. They have an injury on the field. And that looks to be number 40 for the Cougars, and that is Keith Richmond. And we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back, folks, and let you know what happens. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trustful. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, that was Keith Richmond. And, of course, all you want to see are these players able to come off the field under their own power. And he looks like he's able to put a little bit of weight on his leg. And their trainer's going to take care of You never want to see any injuries, um, regardless of what type of contest it is. So we're about to see a lot of different numbers and everything here on the defense. Some of the usual suspects still in there, and that one could have been picked off by the Cougars. Number 22 for Clay Chalkville, Jalen Cole, has got to be saying to himself, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed, I missed. But, you know, hey, other opportunities come. You shake it off and get on to the next play. And that's what the Cougars are going to do. It's second down for Huffman. Still into the first quarter. We've already seen some changes to the lineup, and the Cougars are going for it. Did they get the safety? No. Huffman just managing to get out of the end zone. Elijah Allen avoiding the safety. A loss of yardage on the play, though, will make it third and about 14 for the Vikes. You better believe the Cougars are chomping at the bit. They get too much of a hurry. That can spell disaster, and that's exactly what happens. And there's the safety. Patrick Smith gives the signal for it. So not only will there be two points going to the Cougars, they'll also be punted to the Cougars or kicked. It's field is choice in these situations. And we're going to go to a quick commercial timeout while they get set for the return. With the disaster, a little compassion can go a long way. One of our clients, a retired firefighter, a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others, lost his own home in a fire. He searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing, his original firefighter's uniform. The look on his face, it's a moment I'll never forget. That's why we do what we do. We are! Paul Davis! I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker. All right, we're back. A minute 48 remaining in the first quarter. Hewitt Trustful now leads Vestavia Hills 13 to 7. Could be a PAT pending. And 
And those two teams are looking to try to keep pace with the Thompson Warriors, who are undefeated in region play. Short kick. Number five, Chambers on the return. We have a flag on the field. We'll see what the call is. Could not make out who the tackler was, but very nice effort by the Huffman special teams to avoid the return for a touchdown. And we have holding against Clay Chalkville. And given that it's a spot foul, that ball comes back to the 36-yard line. So that happened somewhere just as he was turning up field. And Bakwe with the short throw to number 10. 10 still on his feet. Looking for one more block, still on his feet. And spins his way into the end zone. That is Corey Barber. And that is a touchdown for the Cougars. And just watching Jaquan McCroy jump up and do the back and buck bump, I wouldn't want to do that with that young man because I might find myself getting sent to Kansas or something because that's a lot of man. That is a lot of young man right there. And I wouldn't want to be the one to have to try to bump up against him. I'll put it that way. He's big enough. Maybe he could get me past Kansas and probably to Idaho. Nonetheless, there's the PAT. And it is 51 to nothing as the clock continues to run. And we're going to go take a quick commercial break and be right back. You use your hands to do a lot. We use our hands to help you move well, live well, and do amazing things. All right, we're back, folks. And uh, Ellison gets set to kick off. Let's see if Pell City... No, as far as I can tell, still scoreless. And that'll do it for the first quarter, folks. We're going to take a quick commercial break while they reset. And we'll be right back. You use your hands to do a lot. We use our hands to help you move well, live well, and do amazing things. All right, we're back. Here comes Ellison's kick. Another one is Bobble. And the Cougars get on top of it. I'd like to take a moment to talk about our fine sponsors of Cougar football. Paul Davis Restorations, if you have any restoration needs from water damage, fire, or other items, be sure to contact Paul Davis. North Park Baptist Church, located on Deerfoot Parkway, they invite you to come and enjoy worship or Wednesday night service with them. 
5700 Deerfoot Parkway, North Park Baptist Church. Brent Rogers Keller Williams Realty wants to help you buy a home or sell your home. Be sure to give Brett a call and look him up. And the Cougars are on the ground, and the Cougars are in the end zone. That carry by number 32, Isaiah Miles. We have a hold against the Cougars, so that one will come back. M3 Performance and Physical Therapy, our sponsors for today's contest, do a great job in getting you trained up and meeting your performance needs as well as your physical therapy needs. Medplex is there to take, take care of you as well. And Cross Point Baptist Church invites you to worship on Sundays. We also have Discount Warehouse, Lawson State Community College. And let's see, yep, the Cougars are on the ground and the Cougars are in the end zone. So Isaiah Miles says, well, if you want me to do it again, that's fine. And he does exactly that. And the Cougars are up 57 to nothing. It is going to be interesting to see what the officials do in this contest. A little bit of a bobble on the snap. Nonetheless, Ellison gets it through there. And it is 58 to nothing with about 10 minutes left in the second quarter of play. Sarah Land leads Baldwin County 35 to nothing early in the second quarter. I'm telling you, these two teams, they just seem on a track. The Sarah Land Spartans and Clay Chalkville Cougars. I'm not dismissing the playoffs by any stretch of the measure. But it looks like all roads to the state title game will run through Sarah Land and Clay Chalkville. So Ellison back to kick. And he put some leg into this, one, it looks like. And, yep, it's in the end zone. So that'll be a touchback. And Huffman will start this particular drive from the 20-yard line. And Parker has tied it up with Mountain Brook. I would hazard that there is probably a lot of running in this game. And it's basically the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Hewitt Trussville leading Vestavia by a touchdown. Man in motion. There's the give. There's a helmet lost. Number 98, Mason Daniels. Helmet comes loose, so he'll have to come out of the contest. Randell Cole slides back in. Lost the yardage on the play. It'll be second and 14. For the Vikings. And there's somebody else going up and down Old Springville Road testing out their scat pack. And 
that play is going to be blown dead. That looked like a false start, and that's what it is. So that will cost the Vikings five yards, so it will be second and 19 for Huffman. Ball back at the 11-yard line. Hewitt Trussell up 28 to 13 over Vestavia Hills. Cougar defense swarming all over the place. And coming up out of the bottom of the pile, Avion Pickett. So. It'll be third and about a mile for the Vikings. Six minutes before the half. And Huffman manages to get a nice play, and they're getting some yardage, and they've got a first down. Nice work by the Vikings to get out of a hole. Nonetheless, it's going to be fourth down. And that's the kind of potential I was talking about, folks, that Huffman has. they just going to need the time to grow into it. And they'll be just fine. I've been going for it. And they got the first down. Ball comes loose. Wait a minute. We'll see what the call is. Randell Cole grabbed the ball. They're discussing it. And the Cougars have it. At least... That's what they're indicating. Avion Pickett saying that's ours. So the Cougars do get it back. And they'll take over at the 32-yard line. So the offense coming back out on the field. And Kamari McClellan is coming to the contest. And he is running backwards. And that one is nearly picked off by the Vikings. The Vikings harass McClellan. And McClellan comes out. And in comes Aaron Fry. So it is second and 10 for the Cougars. Fry on the keeper. Fry has some room to his right. Fry accelerating. Fry breaks some tackles before he's brought down. Right about the 14-yard line. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like it's going to be the 15. And that is a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams realty first down for the Cougs. Aaron Fry pulling it down and getting positive yardage. Two high, single man low, one man in the backfield. And uh, Huffman defense reacts quickly, number 55. With a big hit. 
on the Cougars. I like to know where that missed blocking assignment was because it looked like he came like free range chicken straight across the pasture. And there is a whistle on the play. False start against the Cougars. So, Fry finds some room to his left. He accelerates. Pardon me, not Fry. <clears throat> that's number 11, Bravest Cave Jr. And that's a touchdown for the Cougars. Cougars bringing in their reserves, and after a few hiccups, it starts to click. And they score a touchdown. Ellison back as usual. Yep, that's good. And it is 65 to nothing in the first half. Parker and Mountain Brook still all knotted up. Thompson leading Oak Mountain 42-7. to seven. So they're not far off either. Tuscaloosa County leading Hoover 3 to nothing based on my last report. And that'll do it for the half, folks. Cougars lead 65 to nothing. We're going to get ready for our bands and have ourselves a good time watching two fine bands get ready to play. I'm Brett Rogers, your trusted local real estate expert and the owner of the Brett Rogers Realty Group at Keller Williams. My team and myself take pride in making the home selling or buying process as painless and easy as possible. While a transaction can be stressful, we make it our job to take as much stress off of you so that you can enjoy your investments. We are not just here to sell houses, we are here to build relationships that will last a lifetime while helping your home dreams come true. When working for buyers, we work tirelessly to get you into a home at the best price and help you make sound decisions for your family. When the time comes for you to sell that home, we are here with the marketing expertise to showcase your property to the fullest and get you the greatest amount of profit into your pocket. We are here to guide you every step of the way with honesty and trust as our core values. Pick a partner you can trust when your biggest investment is on the line. You can visit our website at brettrogersrealtor.com or you can call me anytime at 205-540-1182. And let's get you to the closing table.
and enjoy the precision, style, and class as the band performs the Billboard Top Single, Heartbreak Hotel, featuring the fabulous Cougar Rat and the Little Sun Sun from the Play Charlesville Unstoppable Drum Line. Thank you. 
of the mighty Martin Cooper Bay. The band is under the field of Richmond of the Rock Creek, Madison Broadnack, the Pale of Ohio, and Sun T. Dan. Colors are Captain D. Eric Mahomes, Dan's line Captain Chelsea Gray and Vic Rector, the Mighty Cooper Bay.
so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. And so opiate addiction is still on the rise. Absolutely. In the U.S., um, there's been some recent new attention from the presidential administration um, setting aside new funds and changing some limits for medications that can help. Um, and in fact, the Surgeon General has even asked people to look at opiate dependence as more of a chronic condition like diabetes or high blood pressure. So they've focused attention and resources on helping with addiction? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so how can people get in contact with Medplex Inc.? Because I know there's going to be a lot of people watching today that this could really change their lives. Absolutely. If you or someone you care about needs help, please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. The CDC is reporting that since the year 1999, drug addiction related deaths in the United States have quadrupled. So this is a huge topic right now. Joining me now is Dr. Emily Lazenby and she's with Medplex Inc. So Dr. Lazenby, what's the biggest thing you want people to know about addiction? What I'd like people to know is that um, with opiate dependency, anyone can be affected. We treat men and women from all walks of life and many of them when they come to us feel very ashamed and alone but there's help and I, I think it's so rewarding to be able to take a person that's in a very difficult point in their life and be able to offer them a way to turn things around. Someone you care about needs help please give us a call at 205-731-9090 or check out our website at medplexinc.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm Thank Lillian you. Lalo with CBS 42. Hi, I'm Devron Smith with Steel City Realty Group in Trustful. Are you thinking of buying or selling a home in the Birmingham area? What about a career in real estate? Call or text me and let's get started today. With a disaster, a little compassion can go a long way. One of our clients, a retired firefighter, a man who dedicated his life to helping and serving others, lost his own home in a fire. He searched through the rubble and managed to salvage one precious thing his original firefighter's uniform. The look on his face, it's a moment I'll never forget. It's why we do what we do. We are Paul Davis! I am Paul Davis, and I am a difference maker. All right, folks, we are back live and underway for the second half. The Cougars will be kicking off to the Vikings. And Huffman will get to the 15-yard line to start the first drive of the second half. Cougars all over them in the first half. Now, something uh, that is kind of intriguing is that Hewitt Trussell did defeat Huffman 62 to nothing as a final. And it is 65 to nothing to start the second half. Uh, here, Clay Chalkville. Looking forward to seeing uh, the younger guys take the field. But let's get with some scoring updates. Hewitt Trustful leads Vestavia Hills 34-20. to They are still at the half. Mountain Brook and Parker, if I recall correctly, they were all tied up. So, yep, still knotted up at seven apiece on the last report that we have. And they play as blown dead. And it looks like trying to get a player off the field. No substitution. You're going to see a lot of coaching up here in the second half with the younger players getting in. It was a big stick. Number 32 with the stop for the Cougars. If I saw that number right. Let me double check myself. I left my binoculars in the vehicle. Wasn't too bright on my part, knowing that I uh, wear bifocals. 
And that was Jalen Cole. So that was in on that stop, number 22. Man goes in motion, too low, one high. And there is absolutely zero room for the Huffman ball carrier. That is number 32, Zion Moffitt, for the Vikings, trying to find a lane. With the loss of yardage, it'll be third and 16 for Huffman. And that ball is at the nine-yard line. Hill City leading Shades Valley 14 to 7. Ramsey 21 to nothing over John Carroll. And the Cougs once again force a loss of yardage. So it'll be fourth and 17 for the Vikings. Now there's a kid in this state that's pretty good at quarterback. And you may or may not have heard of him. There's a kid named Landon Duckworth. He is already thrown as 11-14 and 228 yards of four touchdowns. Uh, he plays for Jackson. And that punt goes straight up. And it looks like it's going to go sideways out of bounds. Mary G. Montgomery leads Baker 21-7. In a matchup of two top 10 teams in 7A. Buckhorn leads Lee Huntsville 24 22 at the half. Hartsville leading Athens 7 6 at the half. And it's halftime, and Hoover has taken the lead over Tuscaloosa County 7 3. Sarah Land leads Baldwin County 42 to nothing. Daphne leads Fairhope 9 to 3. And Parker and Mountain Brook are still knotted up. A lot of teams on the bye week. Number 27, the ball carrier for the Cougars. And that is Aaron Robinson. Gain of about two yards on that play. Aaron Fry remains under center. In the shotgun formation, and here come the Cougars. And the official gets taken out. Well, that's what I'm I'm trying to figure out if this is a touchdown or not. I don't know if the official counts as the pylon or not. Well, if the if it's not a touchdown, we'll give credit to the stripes for the stop. You know, in the military, you know, when you go into combat, they give you hazard pay. I don't know if uh, officials qualify for that. <laughs> Apparently on that play, it's coming back. It looks like there was a hold. Or something happened. I was too busy watching the official go down. Finally uh, got a little action here in this game. <laughs> Once again... The officials were involved. Kind of reminded me of not, not a Pell City. This, this one uh, kind of tickled me too. Aaron Robinson, the ball carrier, once again. So that's a Brett Rogers, Keller Williams, Realty first down for the Cougars. And the ball's going to be spotted near the 11. And 
And there goes Fry. And the Cougars have scored once again. So Ellison will get some more work in tonight. Ellison punches in the PAT. And the Cougars lead 72 to nothing. And I'm, I'm telling you, folks, those are freshmen and sophomores out there on the field, maybe a junior or two or three, but it, it is what it is. And I tell you, you know, kudos to the Huff and Vikings. They are not giving up. They are not quitting. They are continuing to play as is expected. And I tell you what, when you look at them against our younger players, you really see some good things. And I think their future is going to be bright. Um, the key is, you know, getting the community to, for the buy-in. If the community gets behind these boys, I'm telling you, they're, they're, the sky's the limit. So if you're a Huffman fan and you happen to be watching this, or even if you're a Clay Chalkville fan, you need to encourage uh, the Huffman faithful and those who are aware of Huffman's program to get out there and support them. Nice special teams play by the Cougars. That looked to be number 32. Is that Isaiah Miles? Getting a little special teams action in. Nope, that was Jalen Cole once again. And they're going to call the game. That's it, folks. And best thing they could have done. But I tell you what, keep an eye on those Vikings. I guarantee you tomorrow is going to be a better day. We thank you for watching us this evening. Make sure you hit that like button. Give us that thumbs up. God bless each and every one of you. May the Lord add a hedge of protection around you. Good night and go Cougars! <laughs>